Hey, this is Frank with The Brain Garage, and what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to make a simple relaxation MP3 with binaural beats and isochronic tones using G-Neural and Audacity. Right now, we're looking at the G-Neural workspace, and as you can see, we have an hour-long track, and it's a binaural beat with pink noise in the 8 hertz range. First thing I'm going to do for demo purposes is truncate the schedule by going up to Tools, then Truncate, then changing the duration to 1800 seconds. Watch the horizontal axis change. Bang! We have 29 minutes here, and this last graph square is 30 minutes. Now, a relaxation MP3 means that we're going to take our mind into the alpha brainwave state. And this is very convenient because G Neural has opened in the 8 hertz uh, tone. And what that means is this is basically alpha, but it's kind of monotonous, at least for me. I like a little bit of variety. Now, alpha wave is essentially 8 to 12 hertz. So what I'm going to do is grab this little node and bring it up. Okay, well, I'm actually going to bring it up here for a reason. When you are, when you, if, if you want to do some relaxation in the middle of the day, chances are you are at work or doing something that requires your uh, concentration. So you want to have a ramp both into the state and out of the state, which I'm going to show you as I click on the graph, creating a little bit of variety in the tone keeps my mind active and again as I said before I think I just like clicking on these little guys alright so one of the things I do is delete pink noise in G neural because I prefer the noise that's generated by audacity so I'm gonna go up to edit voice delete and all I have left is the binaural beat let's listen to it actually let's listen to it as it goes down from 10 to 8 hertz. Okay, that's our favorite science fiction sound. And uh, what you can see is from 12 hertz down to 8 takes 2 minutes. That's pretty reasonable, really. Uh, again, the whole purpose of these tutorials is to show you how to do it, and you can create your own brainwave patterns. So, another thing I like to do with alpha wave programs is during the program, I like to take some of the nodes down into theta. That's because I like a little bit of that deep relaxation that occurs when you go into theta. But this is really high theta, so it's not deep meditation. It really is simple relaxation. And you can see that the way I've created the graph, it's weighted heavier at the beginning than at the end. So I've got a binaural beat, 30-minute uh, track ready to go, but I also like isochronic tones. So what I'm going to do is click on it and go to Tools, Duplicate Selected Voice, drag this down, and you see we now have two tracks. You can't see them on the graph because they are literally identical. They are st uh, stacked one on top of the other. What I do is click on binaural beat again, go to edit, voice, properties, see the drop down menu, I have isochronic pulses, I click OK. Now I have two different kinds of sounds. I'm going to play the combined sound. And you can hear they're kind of competing. Let's listen by muting binaural beat to what isochronic pulses sounds by itself. You can hear it's very much like a metronome. Now I'm going to unmute it because when you export from GeneOral, if it's muted, you won't hear it in the resulting exported file. I made that mistake in an earlier video, but that's okay because the whole purpose of these videos is to show you how to use and manipulate the program. Okay, so let's see what else. We've got 30 minutes, we've got binaural and isochronic in the alpha range. Another thing to take note of is I keep the volume very low. That's because when I import into Audacity, I want the volume to be manageable. If you keep this around 50, 60, or 70, it's going to be a very big uh, 
waveform that you're going to have to use the amplify feature in Audacity to reduce the volume on. It's just really loud. So just keep it like that. Let's go up to File, Export Audio, and I have a special file folder for this project. Again, as I've said in previous videos, take some time to think about how you're going to organize these projects. They get real big, real fast. I have a folder called How to Make Brainwave Music and Hypnosis MP3s, and I already did a practice run on this, and I called it Relaxation Demo. Dot wave. So I'm going to click save and you're going to see a pop-up. Uh, it, it already exists. It's asking me, do you want to overwrite it? And the answer is yes, I do. Now when you're overwriting, what I found, at least on my computer, is the process is a little slower. So I'm actually going to pause this and come back when it's done. Okay, so it's done exporting. So what that means is I'm going to minimize GNORAL. I've got Audacity already queued up. I'm going to go to File, Import, Audio. And again, I click on the Relaxation Demo. Pretty snippy, snappy. And here we go, we have the sound file in Audacity. I'm going to play it. The volume's not too bad. I'm going to automatically lower it because I know I'm going to have to lower it some more because the way I produce uh, Brainwave MP3s is I like to mask the sound of the binaural beats and isochronic tones underneath a musical soundtrack. I find it more relaxing and less distracting. I listen to these personally because I want to do something, either study or do some original creative writing or meditate. And I don't like just listening to that metronome. Some people do. That's cool. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is add a new stereo track because what I do is generate pink noise. I go up to generate in Audacity, click on noise, pink. Because I've done a couple of these videos, it's already preset to 1800 seconds. And it is generating the noise. And once it generates again, we're going to see the volume situation. And this is what Audacity is really good for, is essentially mixing, multi-track. Wow, that's loud. Okay. So I'm going to take this all the way down. all the way down and in audacity you've got this cool view menu where you can click on fit vertically so we can see both I'll take this down as well not too bad take that down a little bit more take that down a little more as well again what I like to do when I create these programs is have music on top of it so I'm going to import audio and my pre-produced audio tracks are here. I like to import MP3s whenever I can into Audacity because they're smaller, faster to import, faster to export, ultimately. Nine minutes. These videos are getting faster if you've been watching them. And now we have three tracks. But you see, because I'm working on a smaller workspace for the purpose of recording the screen, again, I want to go up to View and Fit Vertically. Now we see the three tracks. Up top, we have the binaural beats and isochronic tones. We have the pink noise. And now we have the music. Let's listen. Everything's way too loud. I'm going to reduce that a little bit. Reducing the pink noise. That's enough. If you want to do 
a little bit extra for your own MP3, what I would suggest is take your mouse and click on both of these tracks here. And what you're going to do is do a simple fade in. Now watch what I'm doing with the mouse. I can grab the end of this and bring it down to five seconds. Okay, you see how this third track already is faded in? That's because I was using those for a different project and had pre-produced them. But these uh, two tracks start kind of abruptly, so I want to go up to Effect and fade in. And voila, we now have roughly equivalent fade-ins on all three tracks. That'll sound nicely with the finished product. Now what I did was drag the slider all the way to the end, and I'm going to do the same thing over here, I'm going to highlight five seconds of the first two tracks, go up to Effect, and Fade Out. And again, we have a very similar fade out. Okay, so let's just click over here. Very nice track. Okay, a 30 minute long Alpha Wave relaxation track using G Neural. Binaural beats, isochronic tones, bringing it into Audacity, adding pink noise and some music, and finally exporting it to MP3. So we want to call this the relaxation demo in MP3 files. I'm going to hit Control C because when you export to MP3, you get the metadata pop up uh, in Audacity. I'm going to click OK. And since that's going to take a second, I'm going to pause the video. Okay, we see the MP3 export is finishing up right now. What I'm going to do is take you to the folder where I saved it. Let's see. I think that's in the screen demo menu uh, palette. And I clicked on it, and you get this little preview over here. And voila! You have an MP3. Let's see how big it is. Well, it's 40 megabytes. Not too big, which is an advantage of mixing down to MP3 from WAV. Uh, I can fit plenty of these on my iPhone. Love having them in a playlist. And you can create your own. Now, I want to say that I use music that I purchased a few years ago that is ambient music. It's made for meditation and hypnosis. But you don't have to use that kind of music. You can make your own. Use GarageBand or MixCraft or whatever you want. You can maybe, I don't know, take instrumentals that you like and turn them into brainwave tracks by importing them into Audacity, adding some pink noise, some binaural beats and isochronic tones using G Neural, and, you know, bang, you've got your very own in this case, relaxation track if you're interested in deep sleep, deep meditation, or high focus tracks. Take a look at the other videos in our YouTube channel. We love making these instructionals. We also have, again, the introductory video series that has four videos on the basics behind what we're doing here. So thanks so much for watching and subscribing. We appreciate you and especially love responding to comments and questions. Have a great day.